Um, Assistant Christ got a warning message uh, regarding Valentine's from our Father, guys. Okay. Um, she asked me to, um, can I, you know, um, help her out with it? So, um, so, you know, I've been obedient, guys. Okay. To the surprise of many, Valentine's Day isn't an innocent security holiday. In fact, the true origins of Valentine's Day has its roots in their cult, namely in the pagan worship of Baal, the sun god. The religion of Babylon, Baal worship, is the mother of most false religions and its influence. It is still felt worldwide, including in today's churches. Lupicala, the feast of Lupicus, the mighty wolf hunter, the ancient Roman celebration of Lupicala, has held in honor of Lupicus, the defied great hunter of Rome. This celebration also includes worship of the goddess of fertility. Venus and Roman mythology. This goddess is fertility and sexual immorality. Had a son called Cupid. Cupid was said to have atten attended to hear and was given power to cause love to begin and to cease. This celebration was held from the 14th through the 15th of February. Some of the events of this pagan holiday include the church choosing of partners by chance and which teenage girls would place their names into a box. The names were then drawn out by young men. The girl whose name was drawn then became the sexual partner with the man for the upcoming year beginning in March during the fertility rites of the spring. Nimrod Baal and Astroth, Queen of Heaven the Greek called Lupicus by the name of Pan. The, Sem the Semites called Pan Baal. Baal, which is mentioned several times in the Bible, is merely another name for Nimrod, the mighty hunter. Genesis 10, 8, 9. Nimrod was the original Lupicus. And we know that Nimrod was a mighty man who built great cities, including Babel. Genesis 10.10, 10. not only was Nimrod the ruler of Babel, Babel, but he was also the high priest of a satanic occult. When Nimrod finally died, the Babylonian mystery religion continued on through his wife, Queen Simer S S hold up. Semiris, Semiris, Semiris. upon Nimrod's death, she defied him as the sun god. In various cultures, he later began, became known as Baal, the great life giver, the god of fire, Balaam, Baal, Molech, the false Jewish Zionist. Today, worship Molech and, star of Solomon, and the star of Solomon, who married a Babylonian woman tormented by demons, so made a star to control them. Later, the queen gave birth to an Elegemite. Oh, I'm sorry, God. A, le a, le <laughs> a legitimate son. She claimed that he was Nimrod, reborn. Nimrod by name. She claimed that he was the promised seed of God. Genesis 3.15, the Savior, became the mediator between man and his God and this God and had to pray through her to reach him. So Nimrod was defiled as the god of the sun. Queens became the queen of heaven, the goddess of the moon and fertility. And Nimrod became the savior in the satanic Babylonian religion. Another name for Nimrod was Cupid, which means desire. Queen lusted after her son, and soon they were married. As Nimrod grew, the child god became the hero of many women who desired him. This Cupid provoked so many women to jealousy that the idol of Tammuz was called the idol image of jealousy. Ezekiel 8, 5, 8, 14. And the, Babylon, and the Babylonian tongue 
The word heart was pronounced Baal, and the depiction of Temus, the heart-shaped fruit of Persia, was often found in his hand, thus became known as the God of the heart. But God, Yahweh, says, Take heed to thyself, that thou be not snared by following them, after that they be destroyed for, from before thee. And that thou inquire not after their gods, saying, How did this nation serve their gods? Even so will I do likewise. Thou shalt not do so unto the Lord thy God, for every abomination to the Lord which he hath. Have they done unto their gods, for even their sons and their daughters they have burnt in the fire of their gods. Deuteronomy 12.30.31 the whole world has been deceived by this false religion. Revelation 12, 9. Nation and churches alike are falling captive to this mysterious Babylon. Revelation 17, 15. I urge all of you, I urge all of you to inquire about the tradition and customs that are handed down to you. Discern them and see if they be of God or not. If they are not found in the Bible, avoid them. God has said, what thing I command you, observe to do it. Thou shalt not add thereunto, nor diminish from it. Deuteronomy 12.32 Just because the name sounds Christian doesn't mean it is. We have seen how easy it is to take something that is pure evil and change the name and make it pure a pure good. 2 Corinthians 11.13.15 For such are false apostles, deceitful, Workers transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing, and his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, who in shall be according to their works. Second Corinthians 16, 17, 18. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separated, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing. And I will receive you, and I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my son and daughter, said the Lord Almighty. Something big is taking place in the spiritual realm, and natural will come about. Guys, um, I was giving this warning message about um, uh, um, about Valentine's, and I've been getting attacked so much, guys. <laughs> so many interruptions. So, you know... Um, so, you know, Satan really want to stop this, guys. I love you guys.